Okay guys, we are back with the Rip Ruck 15 and this is going to be the final review on this pack. I know it's coming earlier, a lot earlier than I usually test a pack, but that once again, as I said in previous videos, is because this, this pack here is so small and simple that I really don't need that long to test it to figure out whether I like it or not. Uh, I did take months with the Urban Assault 21 to review it, but uh, I learned from that, that taking that long, it's just not necessary. So, so here's my final thoughts on this pack. To start off with, it is outrageously comfortable. Uh, I can walk probably all day long, and this is not gonna hurt my back because of this lumbar support and how it uh, rests in the small of your back. I really like that. It's a comfortable spot. It's not pushing on your spine. It, there's natural curvature there that it rests in. And it's almost like a puzzle piece, at least for me. I really like it. Also, I like the ease of access of opening this lid. That is just cool. Just being able to get in your pack in an instant. Uh, it does take a little time to zip up afterwards. Once again, I might even just string a piece of cordage between the two so I can grab it in the center and just pull and zip seamlessly. The magnets, awesome, because I've walked around town with this pack and I'm not worried anything's gonna fall out because if I don't zip it up because it's got these magnets here that hold it closed and there's some pretty decent uh, hold on that, like, yeah. Uh, Another thing I like about this pack that I really really like is the fact that unless you're tipping it right upside down You can have this thing open Sitting somewhere and nothing's gonna pour out of it yet. You can still access everything super super easy uh, Yeah, like uh, just the way they designed this cutout here Unless you overload it. You shouldn't have any problems with your stuff falling out. You can dig around in your pack move things out of the way and not have to worry about it falling on the ground. This is another feature I like is that laying the pack flat like this I can easily access my stuff in here. My wallet, masks, stuff like that as I said before but it's just really nice to do laying flat like this or instead of opening the whole lid and having all my stuff pour out I can just open it like that and then I can grab my stuff here like I was having a smoke just a minute ago lit my smoke and just toss my lighter in flop it closed bam so that's real cool I like that uh, the tablet sleeve I have a tablet I use that tablet sleeve and it seems to protect my tablet just fine I do not have a laptop uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure if I had a laptop, it'd be perfectly fine in this pack. Same with weight-wise. If you overload it with a laptop and a bunch of stuff, I don't think you could actually fill this to the point where it is any more strenuous than if you bought a three-day assault. So, so that's that. This front pocket, very handy for masks and wallet, or masks and my wallet. Uh, I can access everything real quick without having to go into the pack. Uh, and for masks, it really is handy because I'm needing a mask quite frequent and yeah, it, uh, it's easy access. Have not used this daisy chain. I got the Grimlock here just in case, but I have not used it, but I, it's a daisy chain. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. I fit my, uh, 593 milliliter Yeti in this side pocket it does eat up maybe a quarter of the bottles worth of internal volume so a quarter of that bottle is going to sit inside the pack and eat up some volume but it's got great retention uh and yeah that bottle just sits in there nicely i like it uh i'd also like to note that uh if you set the pack up it stands up it's on a bed right now and we're doing laundry in here so everything's uneven but yeah if you set it on the ground or on a desk 
or on a table or anything like that, it'll stand up. The one thing I don't like about it is that I wish there was a mesh lid or a mesh pocket on the lid here or on the outside, some form of pocket on the lid, just so you could quickly get something small like your phone. Another downside to this pack is it does, as you can see here, we have cats, we have dogs, and it does collect a little bit of hair. Been really nice to this pack. I haven't really uh, abused it, and I'm not planning on it because I really, really, really like this pack. Uh, so I've been setting it down in places where it shouldn't get dirty, but this weekend we're staying at a uh, family's house. So, and she does have cats and they sleep on all the furniture. So there's really no place to set it down where it's not going to come in contact with hair, as you can see right here. Uh, but uh, just a lint roller when I get home will fix that problem. Staining, I did encounter some staining when I first got it, but it was deodorant, which is n like on any pack that's going to be hard to get out. So I'm not going to fault the pack on that. I figured that... uh after using it a while, that it actually doesn't attract much staining and dirt and stuff like that. Um, it rides in my car on my seat and my kids are messy and the seats are always messy and it seems just fine. So that issue is resolved. Uh, this articulating back panel here, very nice. Uh, you can feel that it bends there even when you're wearing it and that it, uh, it does not put stress on anything inside the pack other than that guys this pack is seriously my favorite pack right now out of all my packs i have packs that are worth 500 bucks and up and this 168 dollar pack is my go-to i enjoy wearing it it's one of the only packs that i actually like get excited to wear i would assume the Rip Rock 22 or 24 liter, I forget which one it was, would be just as uh, nice to wear. Same with the 32 liter. That's a little bit too big for my needs. I don't really need that right now because, like, this is all that I really got in my pack. Uh, maybe add in a pop or something. And, yeah, uh, you can pack this thing out. And for a 15 liter pack, I'd say it's on the large side and it has a great amount of organization. I like this handle. I use it a lot. I didn't think I was going to use this handle a lot, but there's a lot of times when my pack's not on my back and I'm just carrying this thing. So it's nice to have a comfortable handle. Feels solid. Very nice. These loops here, they're very nice for zipping your pack up. I never zip my pack up without using these loops, so I'm very happy that they're there. Um, <laughs> yeah, other than that, guys, like, I've had it, what, two weeks? Maybe less than that, I don't know. No damage on the back panel, and I have set it down on the back panel. I don't normally do that, but it, I've been doing it. Uh, yeah, so I score this pack for a Mystery Ranch pack. It would be sitting at five stars for just a backpack in general i'd probably even score it higher if i could but we only go to five on this channel so uh for the money and the brand that you're getting it is a pretty decent backpack if you go through sezzle financing on altitude sports you can get this in four payments of 39 dollars. so that's not bad at all anybody can make those payments uh and then you get a really sweet EDC pack out of it that I guarantee you, unless you're a large person, you will enjoy carrying. If you are a large person, I wouldn't recommend it because of these shoulder straps being so short. On me, this section right here, right where you uh, cinch down your shoulder straps, that's sitting right about underneath my, my armpit. Uh... Yeah, so it's almost to the point where it could become uncomfortable, but just by a hair it isn't. For me, I'm six feet tall and I'm 150 some pounds right now. I used to be a little bit bigger and when I was bigger, uh, this probably wouldn't have fit me very comfortable. But I lost a little bit of weight, so so now it, now it actually sits, it, it's a nice carry. Anyhow guys, short and sweet, 
I know this review went by real quick. Uh, as you can see, the shoulder straps are not not stained, not dirty. It's just a good pack, guys. I highly recommend it. Okay, if you liked the video, hit like. If you want to share, hit share. Comment down below. Uh, yeah, and subscribe, guys, for upcoming reviews. And, uh, um, yeah, we might be doing some stuff later on in the year. Who knows? Um, I'm going to try not to spend any more money because you know how it is nowadays. You kind of want to keep that cash in your bank account just in case. So we might be taking a break from purchasing new gear, but we still have plenty of stuff to review that I picked up earlier in the year. So stay tuned for that, guys. Okay, see ya.